Hi, welcome to the class to catch up. Let's meet the team. This week on the Clash of Catch-Up, we will be catching up with Layla Ryan, cast and crew from Across the Divide and Untethered, and the members from the under-16 and under-19 boys basketball team. Hi guys, welcome to the Clash of Catch-Up. We are here with Layla, the captain of the under-16s soccer team and the under-16s basketball team. How are you? Uh, yeah, I'm good. Um, I'm 13. I'm in second year and I like to pick up ball and basketball. Um, I've been playing them both for a long time. Um, in my spare time though, I like to hang out with my friends or I like to play with my dog a lot. So. Oh, lovely. So um, there's been a lot of basketball matches happening uh, and things. So uh, I play basketball a bit, so there's a league and a cup. So how, how are those going for you guys at the moment? Um, yeah, that's good. it's been going good. Uh, we had our first league match in the school, obviously, um, against Sacred Heart in Drada. Um, we lost by a point, but we both really were tempted to win it. You know, it was a good match. The ball was going both sides for both teams. Um, scored a couple of baskets, so I was happy with that. Um, I think we all worked really well together. You know, we all really wanted it. And it's our first match playing together. We've been having, we had like about three, three, three or four training sessions together. And I thought we did absolutely brilliant, you know, for our first game together. So it was really good. Um, as for the cup, now we played two weeks ago against St. Louis in Dundalk. Um, we lost by a lot more to them, but uh, they were a very experienced side and very good, very skillful team. Um, obviously, I think we all play really well together. Like the Clash and Inter, we play really good together for you know, you know, uh, not winning a lot of games. But I think you know, if we keep keep at it at training, we're going to come back with a few wins soon. Perfect. Well, that's that's really that's really good. Um, it's nice to see you're off to a good start this year and. Um, so you guys are in the under 16s, but you're still relatively young for a team. I feel you're all mostly second years. Yeah, most of us at training, especially, there's about 10 of us that are second years. Um, uh, in cup games, though, a lot of second years can play up, so you can play as many second years as you want, whereas in the league, uh, only three second years can play up. But um, our second year league doesn't start until after Christmas, so we're just playing up under 16s for now um, to get a bit of experience. Good, good. That sounds really good. So uh, you you would mention about practicing there and maybe maybe improving in forward uh, in the future. What was your what are, what are your ideas for the future? What do you want to achieve? What do you want the team to achieve? Um, well, hopefully in you know a couple of matches time, maybe in a couple of year or two, we might start winning some trophies, bring them back to the school and stuff. Um, obviously we haven't been together long, but I think that if we keep working hard together and training, learning new you know moves and stuff like that, like that, and new shots and all that kind of stuff, we'll be flying together in no time. Um, yeah, I hope we. I, I, the, moment, the main thing I really want is for us to start winning matches because I think that if we win matches, our confidence uh, would boost up a lot, especially for players who haven't really been playing basketball in, in a long time. So yeah, that's what that's what I think, and that's what I hope for. Perfect. Well, uh, that's that's really good. That's some good goals. That's a good good way forward for a team. And um, so. Apart from sports, uh, you are doing quite well in school. You have your uh, your exams coming up, your Christmas exams. Yeah, um, they're next week. Yeah. So, uh, what are you, how are they going? What are you, what are you thinking about doing? Um, obviously, I don't really like doing exams that much, but I always do try my best. I study hard, and I just aim to get good grades in school. That's my uh, achievement, my goal as well. Um. So yeah, hopefully, I will do well in the exams this year. Um, yeah. Okay. So well, that's uh, Leila. Uh, thank you very, very much for joining us and uh, no um, the Colossal Catch-Up. Thank you guys. Hi everyone, this is Ava and Eve and I'm Sean and we're going to be interviewing them about uh, their recent play that they put on yesterday uh, called Cross the Divide. Uh, so first, thing, first things first, so how do you think it went? I think it went really, really well. I mean, the amount of obstacles that were put in our place and the fact that we still managed to get a show on and the audience perception was reception was just so great. So I'm, I'm really pleased with how it went. Yeah, it seemed to go well. I think at this stage we were kind of just stuck desperate to put yeah. it on because there had been so many setbacks, but I think it went really well. It was good. 
Um, were you like anxious or nervous before? I was sitting in the, the light and like sound box and I was like, oh my God, I hope this goes well. I was very, very stressed. And like the hours leading up to it was like so hectic. But then they got on stage and by the second act, I was like, we're good to go. Everyone's fine, we're, everyone just like, really settled into it and then we got it and I was just, I was really happy with it. So I was happy. Yeah. I was happy. I think, I think nerves are a good thing. I feel like if you're not nervous, there's something wrong. But I think stress is kind of like a different thing altogether. And I think once we were backstage, we were kind of like, no, no, we have this. Like we know yeah. what we're doing. And there wasn't that kind of stress, but there definitely was nerves. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, were you worried that um, the play could have been cancelled again? Uh, yes. <laughs> well, we were actually meant to go on the Tuesday. Um, but then Storm Barra decided to make an appearance and I think we were doing dress rehearsal Monday evening in the school and I sent all the actors home because they did it and they were great and me and my two producers Lauren and I were sitting there and uh, we looked at the, um, the weather forecast and there was a storm and we were like oh my god it's going to be cancelled again <laughs> but uh, it all worked out in the end it was only like a one day setback it was a bit frustrating but I think we were so we sat there like after the dress rehearsal we knew exactly what we were doing so we could have gone on there. Yeah, they, like there was so many setbacks. It really, it was really laughable. I think we we just had a running joke at one stage after play, which was crazy. Because mm -hmm. every time, every time we thought we were gonna get it, something else would happen, and we were nearly convinced Monday night as well that they were gonna turn around and be like, "You're closed. Oh, yeah. You're closed for another day." Yeah. And um, yeah, this is the whole thing. Um. Uh, how were the actors? I know they're not here to kind of answer for themselves, but yeah. were they kind of stressed before? Um, there's always an element of stress, I think, uh, definitely nerves. I know everyone was a little bit like on edge, but I think once you get in costume and you get your makeup on and you've got your mics there, like I think everyone really, really got into it and they're ready to go. They're more excited rather than nervous, so they, they were fantastic. All of them, amazing. I think there's always that moment when you're sort of backstage where you kind of just like blank and like you feel like you forget everything. But then once you go on, like it all just comes back to me like muscle memory. So I think there was that kind of moment backstage where everyone was like, oh, geez, yeah. like I, I don't know what I'm doing. And then everyone went on and they were fine. So I think by the show, the, by the time the show came around, everyone was not desperate to do it. Not, it was more excitement than nerves, I would say. Mm. Uh, that's good to hear. And um, yeah, that's all the time that there's left, so. <laughs> 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 And now time for the catch-up. Congratulations to Phoebe Boyle and Eve Sands who came second in their debate in the primary league rounds for UCD last week. Thank you to Agla, Virginia and Evelina at Southgate Florist who put on an amazing reef making workshop for TYs this week. Also thank you to the amazing instructor who taught the TYs how to create a variety of braids during the hairdressing workshop. And a special thank you to Aiden, Daniel, Shaheen, Shawn Michael, Claudia, and Arenta who decorated the Christmas tree that really brought the Christmas spirit into the school. We would also like to say well done to the under 16s and under 19 boys basketball for making it to the semifinals. Now back to more interviews. I'm joined by Sean Carr and Ryan Wren after the basketball game today. What were your thoughts of the game? Thank you for the other ideas the game. It was a good learning experience, although it was a tough one to take at the end. Lost in the last few seconds of the match. Uh, it was definitely a good learning experience for the lads. It's a very young team, so we always got next year. You know, most of the players will be there. We're only losing about one or two lads, so just use this as a learning experience for next year. That's the plan. Uh, for the other 16s, we've been working hard for the past few weeks. Uh, our defense was a bit off, uh, but we always next next week in the All Ireland semi-finals. Was there any decisive points from the, the game today or anything that happened that you could have done a bit better? Or? I think, from 19's point of view, I think we did, we executed our game plan perfectly from the first minute to the last two minutes where it all just fell apart. Put up six points in the last few minutes and just the game just slipped away. We were in control the whole match, so I think it's quite positive, although we lost, like, many, many things we can take from the game positively, positively just move forward, you know. What about you? Uh, our defence was alright, but our defending needs a little bit more work. 
Uh, but we're going to be training on Saturday morning. I'd like to work on that. Um, what's the mood like now with all the players after having some time after the game? I think with, with the 19s, it's it's not great because obviously you have six years on the team, so that was that was their last ever basketball game for the school. So it's quite tough to the swallow for some people, but obviously for people who are staying on for next year, you've got the learning experience that we've had today, and you've got the excitement for next year. And obviously, you've got the disappointment of not winning anything this year, but hopefully, we can all come together the next year again and just have a good year, you know. And what's it like with the 16th round? As Sean said, it was like a learning experience for us. And we always have next week in the all Ireland semi finals uh, to improve. We have two more training sessions, I think, before then. Uh, so hopefully we can get some good training. Yeah, and how are you going to prepare for the next year? We're not sure about the first season we're going to progress any further the 19th because we're out of the cup, we're out of the league now. By such a small margin, because obviously you can't play cushion today. Like we were winning up until 30 seconds before the final goals, you know. And um, but next year, we've got next year. I don't think I'm not sure if we'll have another game. I'll be honest, but definitely next year, we're just going to just improve. We've done this year. It's been so positive up until now. Like we were, we were winning. We were going to go through and just slipped away. So I think next year is just continue on the same path, working even harder, rather even harder. Yeah. Thanks for your time. Hi guys and welcome to the Colossal Catch Up. We are here with Callum, the producer of Untethered, and Georgia, who is a cast member in Untethered. Uh, Untethered is a play run by the students in uh, our year this year. Um, it was a very good student based project, and these were the amazing minds uh, behind this brilliant play. So, Callum, uh, you were producing the play. Were there any like struggles? Like, how did it go? Um, was it all like a clean running? Uh, or was there like, problems? Can you give us a bit of an insight? Well, in terms of like set and getting everything ready and getting our cast ready, it was all like running very smoothly, but then everything going on in the background with COVID-19 and um, the Winter Festival ultimately getting cancelled and then moving to being postponed instead of cancelled, I'd say that was our biggest problem production-wise, but the play itself ran completely smoothly. Like if it, if it had been a normal regular year, then it would have been like so clean, so perfect. So that was probably our only challenge. Uh, so that's good to hear. So it sounds like with the, with the whole play being cancelled and then the, there was a storm as well, so we got even postponed even farther than that. So that must have been really hard as a cast member, Georgia. So can you give us any idea of how that was for you? Um, I mean, I appreciated it because it meant more time to practice, more time to like really make sure that the show was really clean. So I definitely appreciated it from that point of view, but yeah, it was definitely frustrating, you know, to like work so hard. Even after the initial like cancellation, we were like, oh my God, what if this doesn't go ahead and we have to put so much work? But it all worked out in the end, thankfully, so. That's good to hear, you know, I, I was actually at the play uh, last night and uh, it was really, really good. Uh, I thought the acting level was really, really high. The producing level was really good. Everything was really, really, really well, uh, well done. So like, what made you guys want to do this kind of a, a career, or at least like a little bit of a, a dip your toe into the, the sea of this acting world and producing world? Well, um, I kind of started um, last year just like helping out Lara, our director, because she's a good friend of mine. Um, last year, when she was doing Letters to a Ghost for the um, yeah Letters to a Ghost for the um, summer festival, I would just like help her out here and there, do odd jobs, and then. Um, Right after it wrapped, she sent me a text and said, I want to do another play in the school year. Will you help me run it? And I just said, I'll do whatever I can to help out. So that was kind of how I got into producing. Um, for myself, yeah, it was kind of a pretty similar uh, experience for me in that uh, for the summer festival, you know, I auditioned for another play, Beyond Hell, which was written by Holly Wynn and Hannah. Obviously it was a brilliant play and I just had so much fun that I was like, eh, T.Y., why not do another one, you know? Um, and obviously the fact that Lara was, had written and was directing it was like a massive contributing factor because I know her from debating and stuff. So yeah, um, that's kind of why I decided to do it. 
good. Now that's that's really good. So I think that's all the time we have for today. So uh, thank you guys for being here. It's really nice to hear from you, and well done on your play. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for watching the Galactic Podcast. Bye. Bye.